Hey, how's it going? So with this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps in how to create your own Chrome operating system live USB boot disk. Now the requirements set by Neverware are that you have a USB that's minimum 8 gigabyte in size. I have seen that it's possible to do it with a 4 gig, but for safety purposes, just to ensure it's going to work, recommend that you create your boot disk with an 8 gigabyte minimum file uh, Available or size ab availability. Uh, if you listen in the background, you might hear my dog snoring. She's just sitting beside me right now. Completely unrelated. Anyway, okay, so here we go. I am in neverware.com forward slash free download. Uh, you can see that there are two images here. One is for a 64 bit cloud ready image. That's suitable for most computers, most new ones. If you have an older, slow computer, the 32-bit cloud ready will definitely work. Uh, they're both great, but if you're not sure, always pick the 32-bit just in case. So you would click on the link and then download it. It'll take a few minutes. File size is approximately 650 meg. Once you've downloaded those files, the next thing you need to do is type in in Google Chrome, Chrome Web Store. When you go to the Chrome Web Store, there's something specific that you're going to look for. So click on the first link, it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store, and then in Extensions, look for your Chromebook Recovery Utility. <clears throat> now if you haven't downloaded this app yet, download it please. It's this app right here. And then once you've downloaded it, open it up. So we're going to launch that app, and it looks like this. So the deal is, you plug in your USB device. Now this says 4 gig. But the Cloud Ready and Neverware, they suggest 8. So again, let's go with what Neverware suggests because it's their product. So an 8 gigabyte USB drive, plug it in. And we're going to use the Chromebook Recovery Utility to install the image. Does that make sense so far? Alright, so the next thing i got to do is I have to get a USB. So I've got a bunch but it has to be the right size. So I need 8 gig, got one here. Plug it in to the computer. Now if you have anything stored on it you better back it up because it's going to scrub the, the disk completely. So I plugged it in, I'm just going to click ignore and the next step is don't click get started but once you've downloaded the image from Neverware you click on the sprocket in the top right here and then click use local image. Now if you check your downloads you'll find the file. So I've got two files here. One is the 64-bit. That's this one. If you hover over it it should identify itself. And then this one right beside it is the 32-bit. So for my intents and purposes uh, because I've got a lot of old computers I'm going to use the 32-bit image and I click open and now I have to select from the drop-down the actual USB. This is my hard drive. I don't want to put it there because that would completely erase my MacBook. So I'm just going to click on the USB, click continue, and then create now. And what it'll do is it'll start unpacking the zip files that we downloaded from Cloud Ready from Neverware. And it's going to write the image for the Chrome operating system onto the USB. And it's going to validate it and it'll tell you it's finished when it's done. That's how you make your live Chrome OS USB boot disk. Next video, I'll walk you through how to use the USB boot disk to actually re image a computer.